I remember when I was really young, I loved to play outside in my front yard. At that point in my very short life, the world was mysterious and opportunities for new experiences and adventure seemed endless. However, I was always told I couldn't leave the front yard and I recall looking up and down the street, wondering what amazing things were out there in the world that I couldn't experience just yet. And as I grew up, I was eventually allowed to leave the front yard and wander around the neighborhood. I felt so liberated at first, being able to ride my bike up and down the streets of the cul-de-sac, feeling totally free. But as time went on, I came to realize that wasn't enough for me. I felt trapped in the small streets. I would sit at the entrance of my neighborhood and watch the cars fly past, going places I couldn't yet. I told myself if I was just allowed to leave this neighborhood, then I would feel free and that would make me happy. And eventually I was old enough to leave the neighborhood on my own, and I used this new freedom to wander around the nearby outlet mall. This new level of independence was incredible to me. I would walk around the shops with my friends and look at all the people. I never had any money to spend, but that didn't matter to me. It wasn't about buying things, it was about having new and exciting experiences. But then, like always, the whole thing lost its novelty. I would look at the older kids driving their cars and tell myself that if I could only just drive, then that would make me happy. Then a few years later, I bought a car, and I drove everywhere. I would go on drives with people just for the sake of getting behind the wheel. I told myself that this was freedom. This was what real independence was, being able to go anywhere. I told myself I would take road trips to exciting new places, and I would imagine myself driving on an open road with the top down, music blaring. But then I realized you can't really take road trips when you hardly make enough money to pay for that new car. I realized that gas costs money, and so do oil changes, and so does car insurance. I realized that most of the time, instead of driving to exciting new places, I spent my time driving to work or school. I went to my job so I could go to school, and I would go to school so I could go back to work. When I was younger, all of my constraints were physical. I couldn't leave the front yard, the neighborhood, or the outlet mall. But these new constraints were much harder to deal with. You aren't trapped in a physical location, you're trapped in the routine of your life. And I think this feeds into an overarching problem. At a certain point, most of us stop searching for adventure. We set up artificial constraints for ourselves. We settle for what has become our routine. Instead of trying new things and aspiring for more, we stick to what we know. And the most tragic part about this is the more we make life into a formula, the more we lose touch with the idea that this is all an ongoing adventure. We cannot forget that every day, there are new opportunities to learn more try more, live more, and be more. I see kids come into the ice cream store that I work at with their faces lit up with joy. They run in, sometimes actually screaming with happiness. I always joke with the parents and say, I wish I could be that happy. And while this is usually said comically, it is by no means a lie. When we're kids, everything is new and exciting, and the world is an endless sea of experiences waiting to be had. But sadly, it's true. I do indeed wish sometimes I could be that happy again.